Welcome to this tutorial on adding avatar agents or NPCs in SiteLab. Avatar agents are avatars in the scene that don't represent an actual user, but rather an agent in that scene controlled by code or AI. Perfect for acting out scenes or interacting with users. In this tutorial, we'll walk you through the steps to add them to your experiment. Step one is to open the inspector. You can do this by double-clicking the inspector script in the SiteLab multi-user folder. Step 2. Open your environment. Click on File, then Open. Here, you can search under SiteLab multi-user utils, resources, and environment, where you have a lot of example files you can play with around. For now, we are going to open the lab empty. This is going to be our scene for today. You see I already placed an avatar, but I'm going to delete that one to show you how to place it in here. You're going to want to click on File, then Add. From here, go to Utils, Resources, Objects, then go down where you see Stand-in Avatar. If you double click that one, it will open in the scene. From here on, if you click the note where it says avatar transform next to the gear icon, you can then use the tools of translating or rotating in order to position the avatar as you like in the scene. If you're done, don't forget to save. Now, you will have to open your avatar by its own. You can go to Utils, Resources, Avatar, Full Body, and then you have a few example avatars to play around with, but we are going to use a an, an custom avatar. So I'm going to use Felix Avatar Animated. Here you can see the avatar. And you can check if there's any animation on the avatar by looking in the animations tab down here and then click in the animation. This will play the animation. Now you will have to add the code to your SiteLab VR script. To add the code, I'm going to show you the easy way first and then how to add code for individual script. The easy version is going to example scripts. There you will find a folder saying add NPC. You're going to click that. And then you have adding NPCs uh, script in here. Um, you're going to click edit on this one. This will open the script in the wizard software where you can edit the code. Here you will have to place your environment right here and your avatar right here. To do that, check the names of your environment and avatar where you save them. So we're going to go to Utils and Resources on Avatar, Full Body, and we use the Felix Avatar Animated. So click Rename and copy this name. Then go back to your code and replace the avatar with the correct name. Now they're the same for the environment too. So we are going to check where we place our environment. Environment and we had the lab empty. So we are going to copy the name and then replace it in the code. If you have your file saved anywhere else than in the environments folder and in the full body avatar folder, you're going to have to change the directory as well. Now you can run the experiment and see if everything works.
press spacebar to start the experiment. And we are in the lab, which is right. And we have our avatar playing the animation that he got saved with. So this was the easiest version. Now we come to the individual version. For the individual version, you just want to copy out the code that I provided in the video description down below and add it to your own script. It will look similar to the adding NPCs script that you already have in your sitelab files, uh, just with some modifications. As you can see, you also have the avatar path here and no, the, the avatar path here and the environment path here. Uh, which you have to then replace in order to get the right environment and the right avatar or you can just activate the GUI in order to select the environment over the GUI then. That's up to you. That's it. You've successfully added avatar agents or NPCs to your site lab experiment. Now let's explore some resources for avatar models and animations. For avatar resources, you can check out libraries like FBX avatars, Mixamo avatars, Reillusion avatars, Ready Player Me avatar, and Avaturn. Additionally, if you're interested in creating new animations, consider Kinetics and Deep Motion. Thank you very much for watching, and we hope this tutorial was helpful in enhancing your sitelab experience.